how you can go ahead and turn your eBay store on vacation mode. Um, and what you're going to do, this is at the top, you're going to do that in three easy steps. So first you're going to hit my find my eBay, which is up in the right-hand corner. Uh, once you do that, you're going to move over a bit on the right-hand side here. This is the seller hub. Um, and if you're in that, you're going to look over here to your right, and there's a little icon that says messages. Go ahead and click on that. It's a hyperlink. It'll take you to a new page. Now, it looks kind of strange here. This is just all the messages you received. And if you take a look on your right again, you'll see this thing says change settings. Um, and as I'm clicking on that, it's already purple there. Go ahead and click on that. It's a hyperlink. It'll take you to a new page. Um, now, this is a little counterintuitive, but here is the page where you'll actually turn on that vacation setting. And as you can see here, it, that little radio button right there that says turn on, make sure you're going to click on that to on. And then you can come back down here and you can just tell the uh, your customers when you're going to come back with a return date. And you can go ahead and use that calendar f feature. Next, you're going to put a message in there. And once that message is in there, go ahead and hit apply. So that's three easy steps. And now we can go ahead and take a look. So I'm going to go back into my eBay um, and take a look at my actives. So if I scroll down, I can see my active listings are still right around 800. Um, and I can look down here and make sure they're still there. Um, so I still have my thing, my listings, but there they are. So they're there. But I'm going to go in to see if those are for sale. So I click, go ahead and click on my store. Uh, I'm just going to click on items for sale. And as you can see, that result is zero. So in three easy steps, I went ahead and turned that store onto vacation. Okay, so let's go ahead and recap the steps needed to turn that store onto vacation. And the first thing we're going to do is look for my eBay, uh, which is a tab at the very top of the eBay homepage. Um, this will bring you into this new seller hub. Hopefully you're on that new seller hub. Um, that's what this video is based on. Um, second, you're gonna, once you're in that seller hub page, you're going to look for the messages tab. The message tab is located on the right-hand side about 90% up the, to the uh, top of the page. Um, and it is a tab that's going to bring you into all your old messages. So go ahead and click on that. Now, don't be afraid. Um, like I said, this is going to bring you into a page with all your messages. And you're going to look for a tab that says change settings, uh, which is on the right-hand side of the page, about 75% up. Um, that is So you are in the right place if you see that change settings. Now, the change settings um, is going to bring you into the, the list of options that's going to let you change your actual store. Um, and as you see, it's default set to, um, the there's radio buttons where it's the default set to off, turn off. Now, to change your notification, you're actually going to just hit that little button that says turn on. So go ahead and hit that button. And now, the next thing you can do is set a date when your customers um when you'll be back so your customers know um, and you can use a little tiny calendar there um, to actually set the date now it is important to note here that the set date is just simply a banner and just to uh, help your customers it's not going to turn your store on or off um, you'll have to come back in and do that so set date does not automatically turn your store back uh, on you'll have to come and actually do that yourself uh, last thing you can do is leave a message to your customers uh, explaining when you'll be back and anything else. And the last thing you do to get these changes to stick is hit scroll down and hit that apply at the bottom. Um, and that will go ahead and apply all these settings. Um, and now when you want to reverse this, remember to come back in, same, same exact steps, and find that little radio button to turn off and hit apply. And that will reverse your store um, and put you right back uh, to selling. Uh, well, thanks for stopping by, and see you next time. Bye now.